How's it going everybody? Uh, I decided to do a video on me building a VMware ESXi host. Um, the whole purpose of this exercise was to free up my workstation uh, and no longer have to use it to host VMs. So I wanted to use some repurposed hardware and I bought some new hardware as well. Um, the, the new hardware I bought was the HAF case, as you can see, by Cooler Master. Um, I repurposed my 1200 watt power supply. I tried to use a gigabyte motherboard I had lying around that was fried. I did, however, have an Asus uh, that was not fried, so I was able to use that um, in combination with 32 gigs of RAM, which was newly purchased, and um, a solid state hybrid drive that got us to kind of the point where I can install VMware, which I will cut to now. Okay, so I have the build in place uh, with a USB CD drive and the ESXi installer. And here is my monitor, uh, which I know is kind of unorthodox, but this is a temporary setup. We're going to end up not actually using a monitor once this is set up and, and running as it should. So as you can see, we have the ESXi standard installer. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and load that up and uh, it's going to go ahead and do its thing. I'm going to install this with pretty much the default uh, configuration and give it a specific IP address and then I should be able to do everything from my actual desktop so this is very a uh, temporary solution and thus the monitor kind of sitting on some uh, furniture but yeah so I'm gonna let this go and uh, we'll come back when it's ready to install okay so issue number one shortly thereafter um, I've actually found a blog post that is telling me uh, how I can kind of work through this. Basically, my motherboard's network adapter was not uh, detected, so we need to sideload a driver for it. Um, I will post a link to the blog post if it does indeed work. We're going to go ahead and work through that and come back once that is resolved, hopefully. And we're back. It looked like uh, I was able to follow that blog post and it actually worked, so uh, that's, that's good news. I'm going to let this thing kind of carry us to the actual setup phase where we enter any necessary settings. Um, I will do that and then we should be able to log into this remotely. Alright guys, so all I had to do was set up a root password and then change the IP address to a uh, static to the IP address that I want to use, um, which is 192.168.1.250. Um, so I should be able to manage this remotely from here on out, and that is what I'm going to do. Um, once I have that up and running on my actual workstation, then I can start to add um, my vulnerable VMs that way, and this will be uh, pretty much ready to rock in terms of doing CTFs without hosting them on my actual workstation, which was the end goal of setting this up. So uh, just kind of a recap. We got 32 gigs of RAM, some random processor, a uh, gigabyte, or no, an Asus motherboard. Um, nothing too fancy going on here, guys. Uh, it, I had an extra motherboard laying around, an extra processor laying around, um, and then I obviously added more RAM because I thought that was important. Put it all in a nice Cooler Master HAF Pro um, case, and that's pretty much it. Uh, set up ESXi 6. Point o on here and uh, I'll be able to add VMs and kind of have my own dedicated CTF box from here on out. So here it is everybody this is the final product um, this is kind of the end result of the labor that I put in on creating this box um, I am logged in using the vSphere client that I installed on my workstation and uh, as you can see, I have three virtual machines already added to my ESXi host, two of which are CTF challenges, uh, the Billy Madison CTF challenge and the Kyoptrix CTF challenge. Uh, I also have my Kali box, and I'm at a great spot right now where none of my virtual machines are running on my actual workstation, but rather on the ESXi host, and this is exactly where I want to be. I'm going to create a video on how to actually add some of these VulnHub challenges to ESXi uh, because it was a little bit tricky, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this video, so I'm not going to get into that. 
In any case, if you have any questions on building your own ESXi hosts, do not hesitate to add them uh, in the comments and I will do my best to answer them um, in, a, in a timely fashion. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I hope this is informative and good luck setting up your own dedicated CTF box.